So guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at DHEA and how a deficiency could potentially be causing you to lose hair. We'll look at how you can find out whether you've got a deficiency and then we're going to look at how that could impact hair loss. And then finally, we're going to show you some ways that you can increase the levels of DHEA within your body. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. Now, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. So let's get into the video on DHEA. Recently, one of the underlying causes of hair loss in men and women has been associated with deficiencies in a naturally produced hormone known as DHEA. While it is normal for levels of DHEA production to reduce as people age, Related hair loss can potentially be addressed through the use of synthetically produced DHEA supplements. While treatment for hair loss related to issues of DHEA deficiencies may be treatable through supplementation, there are significant risks and potential side effects and these supplements should only be taken in consultation with the physician. In this video, you'll learn if you have a DHEA deficiency, you'll learn if your deficiency could be causing you to lose hair, and then finally, we're going to look at how you can increase your levels of DHEA and help stop your hair loss. So guys, first things first, what is DHEA? DHEA is a naturally produced hormone in the human body and has been successfully recreated in laboratory settings and made into supplements. In humans, DHEA is produced in the adrenal gland as well as the testes in males. Levels of DHEA produced typically reduce as an individual gets older and there are numerous health conditions that have been associated with reduced capacity to produce DHEA. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, the hormone DHEA is involved in a wide variety of bodily functions from metabolic functioning and the operation of the immune system to the proliferation of cells, particularly epithelial cells. There is a wealth of initial research and hypotheses on the potential for DHEA supplements, but much of the available literature suggests that more research is needed in these areas. Now, DHEA E levels typically decrease in women more quickly than in men and decreased levels are also found in individuals with the following conditions We've got people with hormonal disorders HIV and AIDS Alzheimer's disease people with heart disease depression diabetes immune disorders and osteoporosis so you're probably wondering how specific levels of DHEA could affect hair loss so let's go into that DHEA treatment and increasing the amount of DHEA in the body through supplementation will only have the potential to help individuals who experience hair loss due to DHEA deficiencies. This condition most commonly affects women and is easily treated if done so in consultation with a physician. Taking DHEA supplements without the advice of a medical professional can lead to serious consequences and is unlikely to improve hair loss, thinning hair or receding hairline. The naturally occurring hormone, DHEA, has been linked to issues of hair loss and is able to be addressed through the ingestion of supplements that are artificially created in laboratories. DHEA itself plays a significant role in the proliferation of endothelial cells in the process of hair growth, and human hair has been found to contain levels of DHEA. Due to the significance of the role DHEA plays in the process of hair growth, individuals who have reduced levels in their body for a variety of reasons may face issues of hair loss, thinning hair, and receding hairlines. Commonly, these issues are experienced more by females than by males. In an article available from the US National Library of Medicine, researchers explored the potential for DHEA treatment to address issues of stunted pubic hair growth in young females that had a sort of adrenal deficiency that reduced the natural production of DHEA. The results of the study showed that for individuals who experience reduced pubic hair growth due to the adrenal insufficiencies, that the growth of hair returned to normal levels once the amount of DHE was increased through the use of supplements. In addition to the study done in the US National Library of Medicine, a study published by the National Institutes of Health found that one of the potential triggers for female pattern hair loss is related to low ratios of estrogen and androgen available to convert into circulating DHEA in the hair follicle. The most significant precursor to instances of hair loss was the low measurable levels of DHEA. 
While this study does not suggest the correlating cause for hair loss, it does suggest a significant link between low levels of DHEA and related hair loss. While there are studies that suggest DHEA may reduce hair fall under certain conditions, this, a lot of these studies were primarily done on rodents. While there have been limited trials in humans, such as the above study from the US National Library of Medicine, the majority of studies around DHEA have actually been done with animals. The reason this concerns the scientific community is that the hormone, while naturally present in animals as well as humans, will act differently depending on the biological makeup of the organism. So if you do decide to take it, let's have a look at some of the side effects that you could experience. DHEA is a naturally occurring hormone in the body and plays a significant role in a variety of psychophysiological functions. When the body ages, it naturally decreases its capacity to produce DHEA which can have numerous negative consequences. There is also a significant amount of potential side effects associated with taking DHEA supplements. Now there is a lack of available research to fully understand the potential negative consequences of DHEA supplements, though numerous negative side effects have been associated with DHEA supplementation. Now anybody considering using DHEA supplements must consult with the medical professional prior to taking any products containing DHEA. Now there is a common misconception about DHEA and as to whether or not it can be found in foods. One common myth is that DHEA is contained in wild yams or that consuming wild yams will increase the amount of DHE in your body. While wild yams do not contain DHEA, this false belief likely stems from the fact that wild yams do contain diostinin, which is used by scientists to develop synthetic DHE. The body, however, is unable to perform the process of converting diostinin into DHEA. Currently, the only known method of increasing levels of DHEA artificially is through the synthetically produced supplements. So let's have a quick look at some foods that could help with DHEA production. Now while there are no foods that actually contain DHEA itself, there are some foods that may support the production of DHEA as it is made from cholesterol. The following foods are commonly associated with the potential to support and improve DHEA production. Got cod liver oil, coconut oil, red palm oil, flaxseed oil, and seafood high in omega-3 fatty acids. Based on the available research and the significant potential for negative consequences, there are limited situations in which DHEA could be used to address issues of hair loss and it should only be used in consultation with a medical professional. Despite the negative side effects associated with DHEA treatments, there is potential for DHEA supplements to be able to treat one particular cause of hair loss, particularly for women. It is important to note that many programs and athletic organizations consider DHEA to be a performance enhancing drug due to the effects it can have on building muscle mass. DHEA does not offer a cure for all forms of hair loss and will only help address hair loss related to very specific underlying causes. So guys, that's what we want to share with you today on DHEA. If you have any questions about DHEA, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.